Wind chill advisory in effect for the entire viewing area, and that's going to last until 1 o'clock this afternoon Eastern Time in our northeastern counties and expire at 11 o'clock this morning around Greater Lafayette and also in our northwestern counties. And that's because we are tracking wind chill values potentially up to 20 and 25 degrees below zero. It's three degrees outside right now in Lafayette. Skies are mostly clear, and winds are out of the west northwest, 14 miles per hour. That's making it feel like minus 15 outside in Lafayette. It's zero in Morocco and Rochester, one degree in Winnemac, and it dropped to four around Crawfordsville with those wind chill values up to 18 degrees below zero in some of our northern locations, including Winnemac, 15 below Morocco, and it feels like minus 13 in Remington. We will have mostly clear skies this morning and those bitterly cold temperatures staying in the forecast through the afternoon. Only going to see highs in the single digits later today in the northern half of the viewing area, closer to 10 around Lafayette. Cold today and then temperatures are going to warm up quickly for tomorrow. We'll have highs in the 30s for tomorrow afternoon and eventually into the 40s for the first part of the weekend. Bundle up for kids going to the bus stop this morning, mostly clear, dropping near zero at 8 o'clock this this morning around Lafayette and we'll have wind speeds out of the northwest 10 and 20 miles per hour only near one degree around nine o'clock this morning. Highs today near eight degrees in Denver, seven Star City, 10 degrees in Dayton. Same thing for Lafayette. Starting up our future cast for today, mostly sunny skies in store for us through the afternoon and then after six o'clock this evening, you'll notice more cloud cover moving in. Skies will become mostly cloudy as our next system approaches the viewing area. Lows tonight dropping back near 5 degrees in Lafayette, 2 in Remington and about 3 in Fowler. Having a high of 30 tomorrow becoming cloudy and we will have a chance for snow showers mainly in the northern half of the viewing area by late tomorrow afternoon and evening. Some of those snow showers going to transition to a wintry mix. First starting off as snow and then temperatures are going to continue to rise through the evening. Stopping future casts around 545 you can see a band of snow in the northern half of the region and then it's going to transition to a wintry mix overnight and eventually all rain showers for Saturday and that's because we're going to see highs in the 40s for Saturday. We could see a quick one to two inches of snow in our northern counties from that system on Friday night or that first wave of snow. It's likely going to melt quickly though because of those warmer temperatures and all the rain that is expected to arrive through the first half of the weekend. Going to drop to 12 degrees Saturday Saturday night while falling temperatures on Sunday and when the te air temperature falls below freezing Saturday night into Sunday that rain is going to transition to a wintry mix and eventually snow could see another wave of snow before Sunday morning 12 for high Sunday that is going to continue to drop to two below zero Sunday night. Mm, okay and more schools mm -hmm. calling